Yeah, it's the summer of DK and Banjo this year. It's gotta be bigger, better, meme. But I've already used some of my best fruits, some of my best. Hey, hello. Some of the best of the best. Hey, hello. Is anybody playing this oh. game? Chat. We, we gotta make ourselves. We, we gotta make ourselves a little rom hack here. See, I I don't wanna see no. I don't wanna see no fucking around. I right? see. I I just. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> oh, what's good? Did somebody say ROM hack? Making many ROM hacks? What if I told you we weren't? Oh, I got messed up. Pop it up, pop it up, pop it up. What's it up, Birdie Boogie? Hey! The legend, the man. A person. The idea, the personification himself. What's going on? Hey! The coin pusher. Yo, yo, yo! What's going on, Mario fan? You doing some Fortnite? What a surprise. What happened? What happened? Lay it on me, see? I'm the head of this operation. I got I got to hear good results, see? And you only getting one win? I I I don't know if it's going to be enough, see? I I need I need more, see? That's, that's all the joke is. That's all I got, chat. That's all I got. Camera is not even positioned correctly. Professional streamer. Got a win, yo. Let's go. Yo, shout out to that time I got a win. My first time playing Fortnite in like two years. That was awesome with that random dude. 
That was so sick. This random dude just carried me. Positioned me correctly. Draw, draw me like one of your French catnips. <laughs> yeah, I want to eat some food real quick. I was running late. So let's let's watch another making of video. There was a lot of these. Let's get our history on. Let's get our let's get our history on. Then we'll jump into uh, we'll jump into it. Let's see. Let's do this one. Banjo-Tooie is the sequel to Banjo-Kazooie, the popular platform game, uh, which features the bear Banjo and the Breagle Kazooie who lives in his backpack. Doing a sequel was, was fairly, it was a fairly done, it was, it was a no-brainer. So we did Banjo-Tooie next, and that was a much, much bigger game. It's basically a platform game where Yo, you nice. run around exploring big, vast worlds, collecting all kinds of stuff, musical notes, golden jigsaw pieces. We used some levels that were originally planned for Kazooie, were then rolled into Tooie. More worlds, more moves, more complexity. The big selling point for the second game was that you could actually separate the two characters. So you'd come across a, uh, a pad, step on that, and Kazooie would hop out of Banjo's backpack and go running off in a row and leaving Banjo there. It was a bit darker, it's a bit more difficult. It required maybe a bit more investment from the players. That allowed, allowed us to kind of have loads more abilities and, and certain objects which you could only reach with Banjo and others you could only reach with Kazooie. And we had 150 characters that you met or, you know, that were, took part in the game and they all had animation and, you know, it was just a really big job. You could control Mumbo for the first time rather than just going to visit him. He seemed to be quite a, a popular character in the first game. You could go and visit him and then take control of Mumbo and he, he kind of did various things with his with his wand, his little little stick thing. You'd have control over these big set pieces where you'd get Mumbo and he would make something huge move. One of the last minute things we tried to get into Banjo-Kazooie was multiplayer. I think we got it kind of going a little bit, but it was just a too big a job. It was Imagine just it was in the a first step game. too far, so we, we held that back and you know we ended up putting a multiplayer section into, into Banjo-Tooie. Early on, we had a, a, a kind of a section or a mode where you had Bottles Revenge, which was where you could, I think you could play as dead bottles, as I remember, but I might, I might be misremembering this. Another player, rather than just watching someone play Banjo, could actually control all the bad guys and then try and thwart Banjo's progress. And if they managed to kill him, the roles would swap, so the, uh, the player that was playing the bad guys would become Banjo and vice versa. It was just turned off. It was just too much to do. That would have been sick, though. A massive game, even more massive. So player two is the enemies, player the one's Banjo, and they switch it, they kill like, each other. You'd see some hilarious things where the baddies had trapped Banjo for, like, all the way through the level. Um, and we even put it in on one of the bosses. Uh, we put it in on Old King Cole, the, uh, the big coal boss that stomped around in, the, uh, in Chuffy's boiler. We kind of reluctantly decided we had to get rid of it, but it was resurrected in, in, in perfect dark in, in counter-operative mode, so uh, good ideas never die. They just uh, occasionally get delayed and, and pop up in a different guise. We were talking about that the other day. I think the humour in Banjo, uh, and certainly a lot of rare games, is just a reflection of the of the character of the of the of the people that are working on them. Writing dialogue for the characters that was always good fun. Um, just seeing how many innuendos you could slip in, and you know, <laughs> hope that they wouldn't then get get cut afterwards. None of the dialogue. I don't think any of the dialogue. Just was fucking with in. Nintendo. It wasn't written down. Most of it was made up as we went along. Obviously, Banjo didn't have real speech. It was it was all gibberish. So it was basically yeah, that kind of thing. I think they were eventually chopped that up. That impersonation. So it sounded random, but that's much harder than actually getting some lines and, and trying to read them. At the time, it was the stuff that we kind of found funny, uh, like the kind of comedy, the kind of um, the sarcasm and the, and the dry humour that, that we, we'd almost been brought up on. There's a lesser known feature in 
grunty industries, the factory level, in that if you go into the servants' quarters, as you go in on the left, there's a toilet door, and there's a really, really remote chance, probably like one in a thousand. Do you know this guy? When you go into that room, there'll be a light emanating from under the toilet door, and if you go up to the toilet door, you will hear one of the, the rabbit workers inside having just a massive, massive dump. I don't know where they got the sound the sound effect for that from. He will kind of exclaim about his finger going to the toilet paper and oh. splash back or oh. that kind of thing. <laughs> There's a lot of different bosses uh, in the game and we try to make them all uh, as different from each other as possible. I had the idea of like a baddie, it was like a, like a welding torch. It was a bit crap, it was on a bit of paper and it had eyes on. And I'd actually put this bit of paper in the bin and I'd I thought, I'll, I'll retrieve it from the bin, and it had like yeah, right. kind of a bit sort of water stain from God knows what from the bin, and I, I put it in front of Greg, and he's like, ah, oh, that could be a really cool boss, you know. And so it ended up being Weldar, which was the big boss in right in the basement of the factory, and I, you know, it, so so pleased with how that turned out. You know? That just goes to show, you know, the matter. This boss was badass how too. How bad you think an idea is, you know, just don't throw anything away because somebody else might see something in it and interpret it in a different way. That's real advice right there. So when Tui came out, um, it was very well received by the fans, and uh, I think they felt it was a really good sequel. You kind of look at fans of the series, and some players like the original, and some like Tui, and vice versa. So, as long as players enjoyed both of them, Tui. the worlds are a lot bigger, and there's quite a bit of backtracking between them, which you know probably today you probably try and cut down on a bit. I mean, on the whole, you know, I still stand by that game. You know, for its time, you know, that was a great project. The kind of relationships between all the characters in the game, I think, I think that won't age. My first project, and probably the one, you know, I'm. That's probably closest to my heart, I'd say. Hey! The perfect timing. So! If you enjoyed that, Rare Replay has plenty more just like it. See how. So weird how Rare has like an actual YouTube channel. Like that was like the, the Rare. Themselves. But alright, who is ready? Start working on... The Mario vs. Donkey Kong. No, that's not what it's called. Donkey Kong 94. It's the same game, technically, but... We got ourselves a little project here. Go songs. Uh, so, yeah, if you saw in the Discord, I posted some info already, so you're probably already up to date. If you want to get caught up at any point, my camera's still on. What was life back, back in 1994? Well, I was three years old. What was it like? I remember Black Jacks and Hookers. Actually, that would have been like the first time I played Donkey Kong Country. Like, actually. <laughs> we're, we're, we're creating a DK94 hack. So if you want to know what's going on, uh, here is the editor on the left side. So this is like the level here. There's all the tiles we can use. We'll go through this more in detail in a second. Uh, up in the top right, I have the... Uh, what do you call it? Am I just, like, forgetting every word in the world today? Emulator. Holy shit. <laughs> My brain was like, what is it called? The motherfucking emulator. Uh, so this is, like, where we'll see the game when we're working on it. Uh, down here, I just have a notepad. So if there's any kind of notes I need to take. So I won't be like, oh, fuck, where was it in chat? I can, like, write it down. You know what I mean? There's also just some notes I'll take for chat for us to, uh... You know, if there's anything, uh... Like, like, progress and stuff like that. Like, I wanted to show the entire process from literally, like, the only thing I've done is, uh, prepare, like, the ROM, and all we have to do is just call it base.gb. I think that's the only preparation I needed. Uh, so you put that in the folder with the editor. Uh, I prepare, I just prep the emulator, 
I tried the notepad What's just that? for notes. Hey! Also, yeah, yo, sorry, I meant to respond about your hair, Mario fan. My bad. That's cool, though, that you uh, dyed your hair. Like, the front of it's purple. Remember when we played those two matches? Yes, bro. You remind me about once a month. I remember, too. Um, I lost my train of thought. What was it? Uh, but yeah. So today is day one. Uh, we can definitely get some levels going and all that. Uh, if there's any questions, feel free to ask questions at literally any point. Uh, the idea is that this is supposed to be like pretty like chill. Remember when I played Fortnite? Like I said, I, I remember when Big Chungus did on April first, but and then they got a battle royale, literally. Fucking, they got a dub on their first fucking match with that fucking random they played with. That was fucking amazing. I totally remember. I I I I, I returned and retired, or Big Chung has returned and retired in one day. It was amazing. Objection! What's that? Chill vibe stream. Chill vibe stream. But well, wait a minute. How can you take credit, Catnip, if Big Chung is? was the one who did it. How could they be the ones? Yeah, that's for the bit. By the way, Mario fan, where are you putting these bits towards? We have a bid war. So you're four, you're four bits so far. What do you want to put it towards? Crash 1 or... You want Switch or PS1? And for what Crash game? Crash 1, Crash 2, Crash 3. Look in the top there. Right now, uh, Crash 1 has 69 bits for Switch. And Crash 2 has got a, a sub towards the PS1 version. So you can choose whatever game and choose whatever bit amount. If you want to just keep putting it towards the same game or the same thing, you can let me know too. But yeah, what do you want to do, do? Can I stop the music? I didn't mean to do that. Uh. You can always let me know later, I guess. Yeah, where do you want to put it towards? Which Crash game? PS1 or Switch? What do you want to see? This music's perfect right now. Ah. Uh, I guess just let me know in a second what you know. <laughs> I should make a command that explains it. For people when they donate. Alright, so. Back to the editor. Uh, as you can see, this is the level, right? Um, you can see my mouse kind of moving around. Uh, so it's, it's done in tiles, 8x8 tiles, much like pretty much every retro game. Uh, so if we want to place a tile, I click with the left mouse. If I want to remove a tile, I use the right mouse. Pretty self-explanatory. There's also an undo button, which is pretty rare to have in editors. Uh, and there's also a clear level one, so I can just totally wipe this out. We're like, oh, never mind. Uh, so if you want to draw, you use, uh, you, you choose, like, the different types of blocks here. You'll notice that they have it all categorized. So if you see me go over to this, like, middle panel here, this panel basically will have all the things we need. Uh, at the top, it labels what it's gonna be. So the first one, tiles, will be, like, all the background stuff, you know, like, background tiles. I'm gonna make, like, a little barrel. Like, boop, boop, you know what I mean? And yeah, you typically have to draw stuff one tile at a time. Uh, unlike with like Lunar Magic, where you can like drag and drop and do all sorts of stuff, uh, you can. I, I mean, I can still drag and drop, or like, you know what I mean? I can still. But I'll only do it for the one tile. Like, I can't do it for. Uh, like, for like, I can't take like a chunk. Like, you can with some editors. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. It's only, as you can see, it's only like a one screen thing. Custom music is what I'm looking into. Um, luckily, we have the ability to choose any track in the game here. So... I, ha I have something that I found. Uh, what was it? Yeah, the MIDI to mod. That turns MIDI files... into, uh, mod, which is like a Game Boy compatible file. So, uh, I know Memblock's gonna... He, he offered to help with inserting custom music. Because I, I can make the music, I can, like, put it into Game Boy and stuff. All I need help with is, like, inserting it into the actual, like, ROM itself. I just don't know how to do that, right? Um, so, yeah, so I'm 100% down. So, yeah, if you want to suggest songs or, like, things like that, uh, 100%, yeah. 
Uh, so yeah, so the background tiles, so up here, there's like the stuff in the background. We can't collide with this. Climbable stuff is like ladders, you know what I mean? Uh, and there's different styles, like there's these ladders that like extend up. There's this penis looking thing, what is it? I hover over it tells me. Oh, it's a climb, oh, it's the climbing poles. Uh, okay, so you can like climb up, <laughs> it legit looks like a wang. But yeah, you can climb up the poles and then go up to the wire and then do these like acrobatic things. This game has a really robust engine. Like you can do a lot of cool shit with it. Um, next up is like the collectibles and exit. So to, to, depending on the stage, so there's four stages that are like throwbacks to uh, OG Donkey Kong. Like you beat the OG Donkey Kong, the first four stages. And then it goes into uh, like the new game after that. And as you can see, like it upgrades the graphics. Like it purposely looks ghetto for the original game. And then it like ups the background detail and everything once you get into uh, like the later levels. And like there, there's all sorts of mechanics. Like there's water we can use. Uh, like of course there's spikes. Like you don't want to do that bullshit. Kaiser spike shit. Uh, conveyor belts, like ways to control the directions, uh, items that are like one-time use, like springs that you can pick up once and only like they'll they'll respawn, but like you can't just like exploit it. Uh, there's ropes like Donkey Kong Jr. style. Uh, there's like birds that come out of these nests. That's like our song. Mamma mia. <laughs> Mario got wrecked. All right. Uh, so yeah, so if there's a specific, spe specific, specific aesthetic you want, we can probably do it. You want ship? I can give you ship. There's arcade, big city, forest, airplane, iceberg, tower, spooky, monkey. Some ones that don't necessarily have a description because they have like unique stuff. Like here's like the interior. There's like moving tracks. You know what I mean? And, like, like if you look, see how they put the spikes on the ground. It's really up to us how we want to do this. And, like, and, they're, and they're gonna be different sizes. Like we can do vertical. You can have like horizontal. But I think it's only it's kind of like Spelunky style or something where there's only like really four screens. But it's not even really four. It's kind of like one and a half. That you can like position to make it a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of going through so you can get a feel for those that haven't really seen what's going on. But yeah, so you can do like, some really cool detail. And this will work on like an actual Game Boy and like Super Game Boy and emulators and all that. The idea is that this will be, I will release this on romhacking.net. And uh, yeah, I'll make sure to give everyone credit who helps. I rom hacks are all about like community effort, so yeah. So as you can see, the the stages themselves aren't very big, which is why I think it's perfect for Twitch chat. Because yeah, if you just want a short little stage, you're like you can draw a picture. You could like draw me a picture and paint, and then be like, yo, I want a stage like this, like a, the, this big v vagina stage. We can do it. Or if you want like a specific like, okay, we climb a ladder, you platform, like yeah, do it, do it up. Um, and also there's the ability to uh, import levels. So if you want to make your own levels, like get the editor yourself, you can do it with this command. You can go find all the info there. Uh, and you can, uh, you know what I mean? Get into making your own levels. And uh, I will probably put a limit. If you submit like 100 levels, like oh, I'm obviously not going to put all 100 in. I will, uh, I definitely will have final say, but I'm not going to be like super lenient. I just, I'm just gonna make sure it's not gonna be like broken or like, you know what I mean? Like have soft locks or something. It's more stuff like that. This looks like a bomb. Or it's a vase. But yeah, as you can see, like this one's like the pick a path door shit. Dun, dun, dun. This one's like a XD. So you can get super creative with this shit. Like, so I'm just kind of giving you inspiration, kind of giving you a look of what it all kind of looks like. And as you notice, we're up to stage like 70 right now. If I remember correctly, there is like 100 stages. This is the final boss here. 
And I didn't even show this mode where you can see the sprites. My mistake. So yeah, you can actually place the sprites and it tells you how many sprites, like the limit's down here at the bottom. So if these green bars get full, you're at your limit. And yeah, we can place DK in pretty much any stage. There's different styles of DK. Uh, there's all sorts of enemy variety. Like there's these flying fish. There's like whatever the scorpion fuck. Spiky dudes. Well, like waterfalls. It's not really an enemy. There's more fish. It's like this armadillo fuck. Uh, what else we got? That's pretty, that's pretty much it for the most part. Oh well, yeah, I'm not enemy-wise, but just like explaining what I'm doing. Because yeah, there's definitely more enemies. Like, there's like these guys, there's the skull fuck down here. They pretty much, they try to theme it for the stage. Yeah, you have the ladybugs in the jungle with the parrots. And clap traps in the jungle, like the throwback with the nuts. If you want nuts and clap traps, let me know. If you want monkeys, monkeys and nuts. And DK Jr. is in the game, and he's a bit of a bit of a dick. Skull fuck. Well, it depends how Mario Skull fucks it. You know what I mean? Like, it's gonna hurt him more than it's gonna hurt us. You know what I mean? Let's be real here. Although Mario, you could try to stick your dick in this thing. I don't know if it's a good idea though. But these things are kind of like Castlevania. Skull fucks. <laughs> uh, bloopers. Yeah. So anyways, there's a shit fireballs and... That's pretty much it in that regard. In the classic stages, yeah, it has like the barrel fire and like these little fucks. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, the size, like I said, is we were talking about that before. Music, we can change around. Like, even within the music within the game already. Uh, the tile set I was talking about before, so that changes, like, what world we're in. You know what I mean? So, like, if we want to be on the ship. So, you can, like, reuse things, but typically you don't want to change the tile set afterwards. I w one of the first things you want to decide, and I'll probably remind people, is, like, you know what I mean? Like, if we try to do the tile set after and change it, might not look good in other tile sets because of the way it's designed. Just like old game shit. So you sort of have to uh, make think about that choice like early on. Whereas I can always do the background tiles later. You know what I mean? Like I, the, the ground always is pretty much the same. But uh, yeah, time we can make like fast or slow palette. We can that, that means like the color of the level. Some of them break the game, so we'll figure that out. But yeah, so if you want the level to be like, I want it to be lime green. This is per, here's my level. You know what I mean? Like, oh God, but <laughs> you do you, I guess. But uh, I just didn't save it by the way, cause I didn't want to ruin it. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, Let's see. Anything else I need to explain? Uh, when I test the game. It was so slow. Pretty sure I've saved. Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. So one of the things you always want to do with testing is have save states. You know I'm not a save state guy, but if you're testing, you're going to want save states. Otherwise, you're going to take 30 years. But as you can see, it's like classic Donkey Kong. <laughs> the fun part is we have our new moveset. I can, whoops, I sped it up too fast. But we can like backflip up, you know what I mean? Oh, you bitch! It's a pretty intense game. Because the game itself is super flexible. Like, you, you can like do all these like cool backflips and like, even if I have my nuts up like this, it does protect you from falling things. Ooh. Let's go. 
He's playing with a keyboard right now. But uh, it, it's super athletic. It's actually pretty sick. Cause it's like, there's a lot of just like agile movement in this game. So it's a lot of like tricky jumps and cool like, you don't think you can make that jump, but you actually can. I wouldn't be surprised if it's been like broken at this point. But as you can see, it fits in one screen. It's literally just Donkey Kong. Like, if you ever played Donkey Kong before, you'll be like, oh yeah, I remember the stage. And the thing is that I, I don't have to use the ladders. Like, we can jump super high up. So, like, I can do, like, back flips. I can do side flips. Oh, I can still get my ass roasted. Jeez. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm trying to think. I guess we'll start with a bit of an outline. Just sort of detailing, like, all the things we're trying to, like, do. Um, so let's go. Donkey Kong. 94. Summer of DK and Banjo. Uh, let's see. Progress. So what do we got? We got, like, levels. We got, like, music. Uh, we got... That's, like, credits. Like, people I gotta thank. You know what I mean? Uh, that's something I wanna do, like, I wanna keep on top of. I don't wanna wait till the end. It might get too hard to remember who did what. I'd rather just, like, make sure I'm keeping on top of that. Uh... I might not have a lot of space, though, but we'll see what we can do. Uh... What else we gotta worry about? Oh, uh, there, there's a few things I wanna make sure is good, like the title screen I wanna change. Title of, what is the title of the hack? Uh, let's see. The music, the level design. Custom sprites? Something I'm trying to look into, but we'll see. Uh, do you have any ideas either? If there's stuff I'm missing right now, it's a pretty small game, so to speak. But like, there's no real like story or text or anything. Uh, oh, the in-between screens. Uh, those are like the ones that like show in between the different events or whatever. Uh, so it's like making sure it, like makes sense with what we do. Uh, so if we like only if we change a world's numbers or something or the amount of things uh, or like if the game ends up being shorter or if we don't end up using like the OG Donkey Kong, I, I don't know. We, we can figure out like how it goes because the game basically will do a Donkey Kong screen between each level. And I remember being a bit glitchy when I changed the levels up a bit and then <laughs> this song's killing me. Okay, give me, give me something else. Um, well, what a banger! But yeah, sometimes those glitch out. Make sure those are good. Everything else, I think, doesn't really matter at the moment. So I'm just putting out of a hundred. That's like the total there could be. We can go above a hundred. Like, there's definitely levels that keep going. Like, it keeps... Like, we can go up to, like... 255, which would make sense. That's an entire bite or a bit or whatever. Level 69 has to be meanie. In the OG game, what is it? Well, I guess 69 would technically be this one. Because 0 is the first level. That's jokes. But yes, 100%. And we'll have to figure out if... Because it starts at zero, technically. So is 68 level 69 or is 69 69? That's the question we got to figure out. What does 
Um, um. All right. <laughs> we got our first level idea. Let's go. Uh, I think, I think I'll just get started. All right. Uh, so let me build a level. I guess I'll start the first level just to kind of show the process. Cause like, I, I could be a little like, we still have to find a groove. And a lot of it will just probably be me building stuff and then people's ideas. Like I'm fine with that as well. Like we, whoops, I'm on the wrong thing. Oh, let's change the song. Let's do it. Desert. Uh, Kyle said, let's go... Power one looked kind of cool when I was looking around. Uh, ba 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 Okay. So I could start with, like, a wall. Uh, oh yeah, what's the limit? It's depending on how big I want to make it, right? It's Remix. Oh shit! Oh! Oh! Oh, the different ground textures. See what they can do. Like dissolving ground, ice, regular ground, different looks, spikes, hanging spike, poisonous water, waterfall, water, current up, current left, waves, a oh, water itself, cool. Structure support, smashable block. Retractable ground. All right, um, actually, let me do the one more thing. You guys can see this better. an idea so you can either start with just placing random tiles seeing if something good comes about uh sometimes it's good to write out like a general gist of an idea like being like oh, okay level one i want to be uh level one kind of like an intro stage uh no spikes Uh, maybe some cool jumps. And, uh... Diagonal, diagonal wire. Alright. That's what it gets, like, a little ground to work with here. Uh huh. Bup, bup. Bup, bup. Bup, bup. We'll start with this one. Uh, I wonder what's gonna happen with the cutscene. It'll be interesting to see. Can I pull? No. Some engines you can pull by right clicking. Uh, I wonder if there is a way. I don't know. Do 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 do.
Maybe give it like a throwback feel. Okay, let's see what we did. Alright, I need to do this. Yeah, the cutscene still shows uh, the OG level. This thing got fucked. <laughs> okay. Yo, Mario is true. I forgot to place Mario. My man. My man. Now that's the stage. Where did that guy come from? Alright, so we know it works. Um, and then to add more, yeah, I just do it with this. Get this big old menu. I wonder if enemies just always spawn for like no reason. That's kind of cool. Um. Okay. I'm just seeing like how the water works. Which number is this? Ah, uh, FD. Be like the range of the level, you know what I mean? Music's so intense right now. Uh, what if I should just lock in the entire stage? Yeah, I guess I should. So in other editors, you can usually like copy and paste stuff. This is probably the only real drawback with this one, but it's not too bad because the game's not too big. You know what I mean? If the game was like a million screens long, this would be... Uh, nah. <laughs> As you can see, the level's coming together. Kind of, like I said, started from like a general idea. And uh, we're kind of just going from there. What uh, enemies we got here? Just curious. So many different variations on DK, which makes sense because different date stages have them doing different things. Uh, so we're through the wire thing. Cock. 
fall. The pull tip. Bro, there's no way they call it the pull tip. Uh, 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 let's put the tip here. Hey, I don't know, Killer. We are, uh, working on the first stage. I'm sort of just giving, like, showing, like, uh, showing how it goes. Showing how it all works. Uh, as you can see, we have the emulator up here. Uh, the actual game's here. I'm making just notes down here. We started from a fresh file. I'm taking level ideas. Like, for example, level 69's gotta be a big meme. Uh, right now, the intro stage is, like, gotta be something- gotta be kinda cool. But also has to have, like, you know, maybe a little gimmick or two. Made a sandwich with hot dog buns? Let's go! Yeah, we, we were, like, just getting started. I'm not sure how to make this. Let's try this. Just for a test. Yeah, you just save the base. Oops. Not too far. All right. Oh, you can jump through these guys. That's funny. Can you fall through them? Oh, you can only jump through them. That's funny though. That shouldn't be a big deal. Can you like jump up through them? Ah! Yo, really? The 1.0 is coming out? Yo, let's go. That's pretty sick. I don't know why there's a bajillion in of these plant things. I wonder if it's because of the tile set. I want to see something. That's exciting, though. Oh, God. The tiles are all different, huh? Power 2 might be all right. Let's try this. I just want to see something. Yeah, Mega Man 7 Rando's been uh, in development for a, for a minute now. By the, the legendary Pierre Sabe, who's like a well-known... Like, hack creator. Uh, so it's gonna be really exciting. Oh, because of the, the size of the level. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, the enemies seem to be way more chill. I don't know if that's just a coincidence. Somebody's gonna be in the game ending credits. Is it gonna be Kumba? Or is it gonna be you? Hog, you! Those are new songs. You walked all the way around. Oh. What happens if I change the size? Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Try this. I thought somebody's gonna be in the, uh... Somebody named Freak took his offer. Oh, no way! Well, that's cool. Now the camera's real screwed up. 
But it does scroll now. Okay. I wonder if those plant things spawn on that specific tile or something. Also, can the, does the water work? Oh, it does work. Nice. Yo, our homie's back! Alright, uh... I wanted to see something. Yeah! Oh, we died. No, it's all good! So a lot of game making, whether it's a ROM hack or a retail game or whatever the fuck, it's just trial and error. It's just trying shit until something cool happens. That's cool that guy dropped from the ceiling. <laughs> what is DK94? Never heard of it? Well, check out the link. Ba -da -da. It's basically a remake of the Game Boy, or sorry, the original arcade Donkey Kong. But they gave it uh, 96 more levels. And they upgraded his moveset to almost like a Mario 64 prototype. It ended up getting remade for the Game Boy Advance as Mario vs. Donkey Kong. But uh, really good games. Highly recommend. Uh, what is the ground tile? Like I said, this first level is taking me forever. Also, because I don't really know the engine and how, you know, the limitations and stuff yet. So. We should have like escape out or something. But this is just again, I'm still just working. Trying to figure out a some kind of like narrative or something. A lot of like Mario games show don't tell, you know? Well, this might be kind of cool. But uh, like we came into this entrance. Up, 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 up. So, yeah, so this editor is here on the left. Up here on the right is the emulator, you know, showing the game. Uh, and then down on the right is just a note screen where I'm just taking notes. So, Kuja, if you have an idea for a level, you're like, oh, it'd be cool if there was an uh, enemy where you. That thing where you throw a bunch of enemies or. You have to swim, or you have to... blah blah blah. Oh, it'd be cool if there was like a Mega Man style, this and that. Sure, I, I, let's try it. But I, like I said, I'm not too worried about the background stuff just yet. But I like this idea of like climbing out of the hole. Seems kind of cool. I also want to test if this makes the level better or whatever, you know what I mean? 
Like, in the minute, fixes some of our issues. Go, Nikki 5 What's good? Or is that the levels where you gotta take a hammer up ladders and keep it going? Alright, let's do it. It's going in the thing. Like destroying walls and stuff. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, we'll, we'll try it. Like I said, all these ideas, we're putting them in. The cool, yeah, I don't know yet. Yeah, it's exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, you don't have to, it's not like you have to decide today. That's, that's why there's so many different days. Yeah, exactly. You'll, maybe by the end of the day, you'll get an idea. Yeah, no rush. Like I said, there's no real wrong idea. And there's no limit either. It's not like, oh, you gave me one idea, that's it. Okay, so we know these towels, I think, are good, right? Using them just for now. But it's starting to come together, right? A wall. Okay, okay, okay. I know exactly what you mean. Like, you'd have to be like, little, it's like three ladders or something, so it's like, chuck it up, go up the ladder, chuck it up, go up the ladder, chuck it up. Then the last thing's like a wall at the top. Yeah. Lucky man. Hey, if he wants to help me import Lucky Man sprites, he can go ahead. But I ain't doing it myself. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Let's see. Let's see. I haven't even looked at the bottom yet. All the different, like, switches and different, like, enemies and stuff. Uh, there's springs, conveyor belts, ice, water, spikes, like, different varieties of enemies, like, switches to change directions of doors. There's poles you can climb with, uh... I want to see, actually, can you just climb it? It's also a test for that later stage. Uh, let's do... Do that. Um, alright. Big level. Oh, zip through the walls! Ha! <laughs> Can you, I wonder if you can do that in this game. I'm not, I'm not a big zip person, but uh, that'd be interesting to try and see if that would be possible, like clip through a block or something. Never like, uh, you like it when enemies are falling and you got to do a handstand. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a good idea actually. Yeah, okay, I'll keep like your like, in, like people's ideas in a bubble or like a list or something. That'd be cool, like, there's, like, a long section. It's like everything's falling and you have to, like, go across. It doesn't even have to be entire levels, either. It can be, like, a section or something. Like, oh, that'd be cool for that section. Or that thing we t he talked about. Or she talked about, or whoever. Alright, let's see... So this is supposed to be like the first level, so I'm not trying to make it like... INSANE! Welcome to my hell! More just like a test, I just want to see like... How things work, and also kind of like ease the player in. I think the, 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 the platforming in this game is really strong. So I know personally I'm going to try and focus on like... Having like cool jumps. 
Like stuff you didn't normally wouldn't do in the OG. Look at this. Oh. Look at that. Oh. 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 Oh yeah. Oh god, they're all coming. Oh shit, that's kind of cool. If you take too long, this guy will come for you. That's kind of sick. And a plat I was gonna say, I'm glad you you know. The platforming in this game is like absurdly good. I got so hyped when I saw there was a ROM hack. Hey man! It's our Omega! We are working on our ROM hack! This stuff is coming together. Hey! Yo! Yes, get those points in! You wanna see the Mario Rabbids? I mean, I guess you could still use your handstand stuff and all that. That's that's actually still a cool jump. Like, boom, boom. Or you could do uh, a side flip. Be really creative. I like this one guy, actually, who runs around. It actually works out really well. He's like an enemy for the entire stage. If you fall, you don't die. I don't want it to be mean. I hope you're doing well, Omega. Good to see you, man. We are making a ROM hack. DK94! Exclamation. You want to see more detail? Oh, you can actually make it up. That's actually sick. Yes! Work on that incentive. Already at 18k. Holy shit. Y'all are raising that money. Oh yeah, you're right. They're like the triple... And this last one, you have to do uh, a side. But if you fall off, yeah, you won't insta die. This game has actually a really nice drop height. Nah, I'm, I'm liking the stage so far. It's coming together. But yeah, so if you have any ideas, people have been giving ideas, and there's no rush. You don't have to decide right this second. Uh, if, so if you're like, oh, it'd be cool if a stage had this. I, I want to climb this so bad. I mean, I can make it a ladder. Are we 21 Satan come from? Yo, let's go! Let's mix up the soundtrack. No rush? Everyone keeps saying Kumba would want this, Kumba would want that. That's making me laugh. Kumba's gonna be like, bro, I'm not playing a Donkey Kong hat. Get out of here. Now he'll probably check it out. You should check out what I do. Uh, na, na, na. Oh, a chat. I'm I'm gonna need ya. I'm gonna need you to spawn up. See, we're trying to make a rom hack here. Why is my camera fucked up? It was so good earlier. We're, we're trying to make a ROM hack, see? Don't... We, we, we ain't messing around. We, uh... I, I'm running this, uh... DK Mafia. And, uh, I'ma need you to all, uh... Put your chungus up right now, one time. Cause, uh, you's wise guys. You ain't, you ain't getting a cent out of me. You ain't, you ain't getting... A Chico style hack. He already put Chico in the Mega Man 8 editor. It's already the logo. <laughs> I 
It's already everywhere! <laughs> also, this editor is sick, by the way. Y'all haven't seen this yet? Look at this shit! Mega Man 8 editor? This thing is so fucking badass. This thing's so good. So dope. Anyways, that's a different project. Back to more- back, back to Spink. We also got fake Mega Rob, Dad. But the but I I think not There we go. Like I need not Game Boy music for a second. So this level you come up this way. You from up here. But if you're really fancy, you can do like a super jump. We need like one last like obstacle or something. Some kind of switch? Or what kind of switch is this? Uh, on off switch. Oh god, it's huge. Oh god, it's huge! Thank god there's an undo. Yes, you'll get your fake me two C's. I can never, I never know how to say it. Get your, get your Rob emotes in the chat. Uh, I'm looking for like the retractable thing. Where is it? Probably read what they're called. Uh, off center? No. Is it in here? We got springboards and shit. Actually, hmm, wait, let me try something. This. And then you have to like shimmy across. That keeps it also keeps it sort of like a general theme. Oh yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah, as I was about to say, you have an idea. If you're like, yo, I really love a a level. Because they're they're all one screen levels, basically. So it can be an idea for a level, it can be a moment, it can be a, a level itself. If you want to draw it out and then send it, you can do that too. You can also download the editor, make one yourself, and send it to me. It's very, very flexible, this program. I enjoy it for that. Uh, let's see. Did I have a DK or no? I'm just gonna just put a Pauline in there. I wanna see what happens, I'm just curious. This is for science. There's also these like winning tile things you put. And it basically signifies that you're like at the end. Let's see what happens. This level's basically done. So I have to make it prettier, fix, you know, make things look better, you know, all the usual stuff. But typically you want to just get like a your idea on the screen. I feel like that's the part people do get so caught up in it looking pretty. It's like you can make it look pretty later. Like make sure it's functional and it works. Then worry about it like you know, having a cool background or something. You can definitely put like a general idea. Like you saw, like I have so this like brick kind of tower ascending idea. Maybe I'll put something cool in that bottom right. Like a backgroundy thing. It's kind of a mix of both. It's kinda of, it's kind of like it's kind of both, Guja. It's like it's like it's puzzle in the sense that since cause it's one screen, there's usually like some kind of exit. Like, as you can see in our level in the top right here, right? Like, I'm, uh... I start at this door, and it's like, okay, I'm in the level. Like, what do I do? Like, I only have, like, 
One option. Okay, I have to try and jump up. Oh, okay. But of course, if you take too long, this guy comes. He won't kill you instantly or anything. Well, he will if he touches you, but... You can... Ah! But you have a very flexible moveset. You can do a handstand super jump. You can, uh... Oh, na, 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 na. It's kind of like an action puzzle. I guess the spring's not needed. Ah! Uh, Mario? Yo, he just does it forever. And so Mario kept running that day. We don't know what he ran for. We don't know what he, why he ran. But he kept running that day. Some say he's still running. <gasps> okay, so obviously, I wonder if we have to be on the same screen. Or I wonder if I just can't use Pauline without Donkey Kong. I'm sorry to do this. They put it like right beside each other. Uh, and also, let's remove this because we don't need it. Kind of got to get in the way. But, uh, 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 yeah, keep it simple, stupid. You know that phrase. For a game like this, 100%. Because there's so many levels, right? You, you, you have time to explore ideas or to really let things like kind of simmer and stuff. Run, Mario, run! You just zip left and then write like 5 million hours. Yeah, right. Oh, no, that was me doing... Uh, I'm, I'm using speed up. Sometimes I'm using speed up. Just because we're, we're testing stuff. So I'll use save states and speed up and all that. He was going back like that, but it, it was like a soft lock. I wasn't able to uh, free him from that state, unfortunately. Exactly, Nikki 5 Exactly. And that's the thing. As we keep exploring... That, that's, that's the thing, right? Like, not, none of us are, like, experts in this game specifically. Which is also why I did this. Because it'll be, like, a fun challenge for all of us. You know what I mean? For all of us, like, hackers and fun little uh, enthusiasts in the chat and all that. Like, we're all kind of on even playing field here. I mean, I've played this game a bunch, but I grew up with it and all that. So I'm not like, how do I play the game? But I, I was surprised there was this robust level editor for it. But literally no hacks. <laughs> It was like, what? That's cool, you can use the trash can. That was unintended, but kind of cool. Let's see what happens if it freezes again. Look, now Donkey Kong's at the bottom. Look, now he's zipping. Now DK's zipping. No, look, there goes DK. <laughs> Yo, the game's tripping. DK's going, look at him go. Look at DK go. Unfortunately, I think we're soft locked again. That was awesome, though. TK was like, "Bitch, I'm coming for Pauline." <laughs> hey, what happens if we put DK? Let's check that out. Let's test it. That's what I'm wondering, right? Yeah, right? Mayo, oh, you might be right. Maybe I have to put a ladder there. Ooh, you might be smart. The answer might not be DK, but the ladder. I don't mind DK climbing the entire screen. Oh, wow. Now it added the conveyor belts. This is the DK I'm using. Bro, how to turn this stage into a hard stage in one, in one easy step. But now the stage went from like tutorial stage to like. They're actually in pretty well placed spots though, I won't lie. Oh God. 
Oh, DK, chill. No, 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 don't do it. All right, so I don't think having DK there is going to work. But I like your idea of a ladder. I'm going to try that. I'm curious. Uh, um... For curiosity's sake. I'll try the double. And then if it's still janky. I, I just realized I don't have to do the level every time. But playtesting is very important with hacks. I think it's super underrated. I don't understand why. I, I, fi I figured people would be excited to play what they made, right? That's not no one in particular. I don't want anyone to be like, oh man, fuck you, cabinet. I've just, noticed, like, I've just noticed that with ROM hacks in general, because I've played a lot of ROM hacks. You're like, oh, I didn't test that. It's like, what? Like, testing's like half the fun. Like, bro, we made this. Oh! Yo! You're a genius. It actually worked. Damn! Yeah, the, the 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 code was looking for a ladder. So I guess that's how they program the game, right? And when it makes sense, because if you look at the other levels, right? Yo. If you look at the other levels, right? They all end with a ladder. Especially this one where you end at a point. And then he climbs up a ladder and all that. And so I guess Mario just scrolls the screen until he finds a ladder. But if there's no ladder to find, he just will scroll full forever. <laughs> They never programmed a situation where there wouldn't be a ladder. There's a, there's our fun DK94 fact of the day. Huh. That's where they go to testing without playing or fast forwarding to get there. It's just safe state. Exactly, exactly. I I, I do that as well, uh, Kuja. But since, since this is the first level, I haven't been too worried about it. But if you check this out, I already have safe states for the next level. Like the levels after, like... I'm already... I'm already ready. I have, like, every save state ever for Mega Man 5. Just in the big, like... I, I have it, like, from F1 to, like, 11 or whatever. Just all, like, different parts of the game. I think it was all the Wily stages. Like, eight of them were Wily stages. But yeah, you are right that I should be save stating before. If I really... If I truly want to maximize our time, I should save state... Just right before, and then load that. Yeah, so that guy definitely spawns on that, like, white tile. Spooky music. Look at that. Boom. I want to see if it still works with the one. And that's cool. It looks like DK was off screen. Like, DK was, like, off screen, and he's like, oh, shit. But yeah, I think this is a pretty cool first level. But yeah, if you have any tips and tricks like that, I'm always down. Uh, uh, to clean it up a bit. Those tiles are weird with the spawning plant thing. It honestly doesn't look too bad with just the bricks. That's how the game kind of designed itself anyway. Like, that's the style of the game. Like, they used a lot of, like, one tile for a level, right? Very, like, specific. It's, like, all the same ground tile, right? But yeah, so this is a cool first level. And it's way different from the OG game already. Uh, things I still want to add. Uh, there's collectibles. So it would be fun to still place these. And there's that one. 
Place that one there. So it makes it so you have to like explore the level a bit. I'm not gonna put one here. I mean, I could, I guess. Maybe I'll put a one up there. <laughs> Cheeky little one up. Uh, there should be one more, right? Wait, hand hand back. We should make it like a trick shot. You only get the handbag by being like a homie. You like that kind of stuff in the SNES Mega Man X's? Bro, Mega Man X level editor. I have Kumo has already hinted at it before. I know it's coming. I'm so excited. Especially after how good the 8 editor is. That shit's gonna be so legit. Alright, this is looking like a fresh level. Like I, like, I feel like this is like... I'm satisfied with this. I could, for like, to clean it up, I could do this. That looks a bit cleaner, you know what I mean? Um, but honestly, so much of ROM hacking is just staring at what you've made, and then stare at it some more, and then stare at it a bit 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 more. And stare at it a bit more. Like I said, that's pretty much... At, wait, how do these... Oh, I see how these are. Okay. There's like the multi-stack and the single stacks. I'm just adding some background detail because I can. No, I don't like it. Uh... That's cool. Yeah, Nikki 5, it 100% is. If you want to mess around with it, make your own level, um, I can import levels. So if you go, uh, I made a little handy link that has all the details. You can download the editor. It's on romhacking.net. And uh, Actually, it's not on romhacking.net. What am I saying? It's, uh, it's on GitHub. But uh, you can find the, I have all the links there. The good feeling of finding a hard tank, right? Exactly. And it's like what happened with the, like the banjo hack we were playing, where it was cool to like be rewarded to like explore a bit. Like, oh, that's cool. Like there was a reason for the water besides like not dying. All right, let's try this out. It should be good. I don't think I have anything else to, to add. Not the moment at least. Yeah. So I'm totally down to like let people like, if you want to make your own level, export it, I'll import it, 100%. I could probably add more detail, climbing out of the pit. Da, 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 da. Nice trick shot. Yeah, those things still spawn, but I wonder what the deal with that is. If it's just like the tile set or what. Ba, 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 ba. There you go. And just for fun, let's try 100%. A lot of stuff with making ROM hack levels and stuff is just learning how to use the tools. From there, it's typically just placing tiles. The hardest part is just like anything, is coming up with ideas, right? Although, to be fair, when you first start out, you have like bajillions of ideas, I feel like. At least I do, because I'm like, I haven't made anything yet, so I'm like, Oh, what if I did this? What if I did this? What if I tried this level? What if I tried to do like, this kind of thing? And then whether it succeeds or not is part of the process. That's usually where those, like, genius creators... They don't talk about it a lot, but they throw away a lot of shit. Those people will constantly be reiterating and thinking and trying out ideas and... You know, now DK glitched out that time. That looks awesome, though. Ah! That was awesome. 
You're horrible as hell with the ideas I'm thinking. That's, I guess I'm just, like, lucky then. Because for me, it's like... I feel like there's, like, a bajillion ideas. It's like, I find it hard to focus on one. It's like, for me, it's like I see this, like, list of things, and I'm like, oh, okay, there's something we can do with... Like, there's a fake door and a real door. Oh, there's, like, ice, so we can do, like, an icy level. Ooh, there's lots of water, so we can do, like, a whole water type of thing. Ooh, there's moving stuff left and right, so, like... There could be a level maybe where, like, it in, like maybe it's mirrored. And, like, you know, one thing goes one side, one thing goes another side. It's actually a pretty good idea. It, it's honestly just... The, the hardest part is just allowing yourself to try ideas. Not just being like, oh, that's stupid. Just, just try it. And then see if it's stupid. Yo! And that's how you get from 1 to 1.1. As long as 1.1 doesn't change literally everything. Then you, it shouldn't be called a 1.1. But yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's like it's like same with, with freestyle rapping. People are like, "How do you get good at freestyle rapping?" Literally, just say dumb shit, and if you start saying dumb shit enough, you'll start saying good shit. And that's kind of the exact same thing with level design. Yeah, we got. Let's send it real back to '94. Wait, if it's if it's 1994, okay, okay. Let's go full 94. The following program is a paid commercial announcement. The views and opinions expressed are those of the identified sponsor and do not reflect the views or opinions of TBS Superstation or the Turner Broadcasting System Incorporated. The program you're watching is a paid advertisement for PowerWalk Plus, brought to you by National Media Corporation. Why do we do it? <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Stop killing yourself. Now you can power walk your way to good health and fitness with Power Walk Plus. Yo! The easy way to burn away excess calories, reduce thighs. Am I going to get buttocks, banned for this? Jesus Christ. And build a stronger heart and cardiovascular system. With Power Walk Plus, you can now enjoy twice the workout in half the time. You get a challenging upper body workout while you burn fat faster and strengthen and tone muscles. Because Power Walk Plus is self powered, the only Fuel you burn is your own. Best of <laughs> what do you mean? Ben. Level done. Shall we keep going? Oh, no, why? 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 There's a reason why I've never talked about this game. This song's a banger, though. It's the OG Undertale. Un like, unironically. <laughs> Who's ready to hear this song for like five hours? Imagine trying to do a Resident Evil game on the Game Boy Color. Im imagine. Just imagine. The battle system is actually kind of unique. <laughs> 
But it's, uh, it's literally Undertale. Like, not joking. Get into a fucking fight. Damn it, Barry, come on. There we go. So you have to line up the bar in the center. And like, zombies take a million hits. I need that. Oh. I want to be that sound effect guy. But I won't spoil too much right now. <laughs> Off. <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe it does. <laughs> yeah, well, because it's the Game Boy, right? So it couldn't actually play WAV files. So it would like, it, like, it can't play MP3 or WAVs or like MIDI or any kind of shit like that. So it has to simulate the sound effect. So they did something where it would like mimic real sound, but it would require like all the sound channels. They did it with Kirby as well. Kirby Tilt and Tumble. It would be like, hi, but it stops like everything. It would be like, dun, ba, da, 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 da. hi, ba, ba, da, da, da. hi, ba, ba, da, da. Oh, is it because it uses, it's like uses it, but like it's at such a low quality, it doesn't sound like anything. But if you do it the right way or whatever. But wave and wave aren't the same thing, though. Yo, Omega! Yo, thanks so much. But at least you didn't request... Actually, I won't say. Actually, I'm not going to say. Because you have a lot of points. So I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Nope. I thought it could... Low tempo suit like I did without that faith. But isn't that because you're using LSDJ? Like, LSDJ... Like, if you didn't know, LSDJ uses, like, extra processing power. I looked into this when I've been, like, learning how to do Game Boy games. So you can't actually use LSDJ music in a game. Because it uses way too many resources. Like, you can't load sprites, or you can't, like, do anything. So... In order... Like, you only really have four channels. You know what I mean? Like, the four waveforms. Like, you're not able to load higher quality samples and stuff. But I know with LSDJ, they have that way that imports them or whatever. So I don't know if they found a way to do that with, like, regular Game Boy sound. I mean, the sense of, like, non... Because, like I said, LSDJ, you can't, like, convert... You can't, like, port that. Unless you copy and paste your tracker stuff, I guess. But you can't really copy and paste. You'd have to, like, manually type it out. But even then, you'd still be limited. Because you'd still have to import the sounds, right? But I don't think you can... Can you? Now you've got me wondering. I know a lot of that's like manipulating the like library of how it all works. It's like... Like, no matter what your things are, like, you still have to input samples, right? But can you... Yeah, you really can just put waves, huh? Interesting. But I wonder how it's going to play back on the Game Boy. Now you've got me curious about all this. So if you can play waves, but only on the wave channel, it's going to sound like shit, though. Yeah, you're right. Pokemon Yellow does have the sounds, right? Yeah, right, you're right. That's a good point, too. Yeah, the speech synthesis stuff, too, right? Ghostbusters! I just gotta hear that. if we slow it down. It literally becomes 
Tamagotchi base. It unironically becomes fucking, uh... <laughs> okay, now we gotta see like half. Yo, back to the beat. What are they gonna do when you move your feet? Ghostbusters, they come for a week. What are they gonna do when they feel so weak? I got Ghostbusters down for a week. What you gonna do when she busts so weak? I got my knees all weak. I don't even know. Oh man, I'll be going for a street. A milli, a milli, a milli. That's what good pussy sounds like. <laughs> By the way, it's so easy to make lo-fi. You want to make, make some lo-fi real quick? Check this out. Uh... Now, uh, cocaine version. Wait, what would funky sound look like this? It's like, it's like what, what's it like having ADHD? <laughs> Alright, what do we got? So using the usual sound hardware, in order to make it fast enough, they had to- Oh, it's fast enough, that's what I thought. I knew there was something with it, but you can't just normally do it. You have to, like, do some trick. They had to use one-bit samples, so it's very low quality. Work by just turning the sound on for one sample, then turning it off for zero samples. But Sudo blogged about it as well. Oh, no way. Okay, I don't, who was expecting Masuda have like some type of like god tier like like sexual energy? I don't I was not expecting to open up his blog and he's like Hey girl Bruh This was the tickets high quality sampling function on the Game Boy hardware. I'm visibly aroused. Wait, no, the visibly aroused version would be, uh, this. Bro, this was our theme song yesterday. Our programmer came up with the following idea to solve the problem. Program the converter to make the sound into one bit data, not recreating the sound. Make the sound digitalized using the equipment. Okay. Okay, so he literally just, he got it into like a shape or whatever, like a waveform or whatever. That's lasting way too long. The sound differs on how we set the level of one. Okay. Using Game Boy's click noise to make zero silent and one to sound the important part. The faster the better. So it's like... So the waves are enumerated as sound data, which just turns into like a binary zero one type of thing, like a variable. And then... A few different converting systems were prepared, okay. So they used the beep of the Game Boy being silent, and then one being the sound, and they like flipped between the two. Okay. I 
I kind of understand. We're not safe here, Chad. The song sounds really good fast. It was already a good song. But since it was so like long and ambient, when it's sped up two times, it still works because it's like so much space in the song. Well, the song's faster. Right? There's no time for it to breathe. So everything's getting crunched in, right? K was like, I got that new shit. The guitar still sounds good, though. You want to know why? Because it's drawn out. Yeah, you, you'll notice stuff you wouldn't notice before. I, I do this all the time. I love fucking with music pitches and shit. You'll, you'll like notice parts you never noticed before. You'll be like, I never noticed the drums did that or this or whatever. All right. All right, let's get back to work. We've made one level in two hours. Let's, let's, let's pick up the pace. Let's, uh, let's, uh. Have I made the big chungus level yet? Have have I made the big chungus level yet? Well you see here, me and my operation. We don't get distracted here, alright? That's not how this ch ch just chat works. Alright, let's actually do this. I know that let's not get distracted. All right, level two. Have we made the big chungus level yet? We'll put it on the list. It's on. It's on the list now. All right, chat. What do you want? What, what kind of tile set do you want? I'll let y'all choose this one. Now, now that we're getting more familiar. So you made the big chungus level, right? Right? I almost got distracted, but I won't get distracted. But what do you want? We got classic girders. We got airplane. We got iceberg. We got forest. We got rocky valley. We got ship. We got desserts. We got airplane too. Clouds. Big city. We got a... Uh, I think he wants a big chungus level. <laughs> What do you want this level made of? Airplane? Desert? Ship? Ha! <laughs> You're like, oh, you've been here since we started. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, level 69 is definitely, that, that's, the, that's on the list. You can see right here. That's, that is for sure happening. Uh, so yeah, what, what tile set do you all want? God damn right. I think the two of you are gonna get along very nicely. Airplane, iceberg, forest. 
ship. Let's do forest, I guess. Big... Lurking and jerking. Lurking and twerking. I'm just picturing, like... Imagine how, like, tiring that would be. Like, someone's doing, like, a four-hour stream, and you're just lurking and twerking that whole time. Bro, you'd be, like, working up a sweat. Eh. I'm not a coffee creamer, so I drank G Fuel while training someone at work today, and I felt like a goddamn degenerate. Did you ask them if they watched any hot tub streams while you did it? And those points for the Chico Hack Marathon 2 featuring no Chico Hacks. Imagine. Coin pushers like, I've been doing it the whole time. I know, I'm trying to figure it out, right? Like... This is where I need my pixel art people to come in. This is where I need my like pixel art connoisseurs. Close enough. We don't want close enough. Should wait. This was his idea. It, it looks kind of rabbitish. I'm, I'm seeing it. Chungus, Chungus, Chungus. Are we getting somewhere? Okay, you're 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 non meme idea. All right, what's your non meme? The biggest stage with flips, flops, and floops, and you call it the flippity floop, flippity floppity floop. I'm gonna just copy and paste it easier. All right, this kind of looks big chungus, ch chungus guy, chungus ish. Now it just needs a ladder. You mean like that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, like, I'm the perverted one.
Flippity floppity floops. Have you have you never seen Cinderella? Bippity bobbity boop. Da ba da doo 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 ba doo 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 flippity floppity floop. Watch the ba da 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 ba da da flippity floppity floop. Placeable springboard. This level's actually turning out kind of cool. <laughs> Started as a meme, but I'm kind of digging this one. Column of water, like like for here. That won't work for me in Canada. I I remember this episode though. Will the clip work here? No, nah, it won't. I feel like, hey Canada, hey Canada. If only those queer eye for the straight guy people understood what they were doing. Wait, that's it. I know exactly what to do. Come on, Mr. Slave, let's get back to our flippity floppity floop. Oh no! Damn it, don't call it that. Oh yeah, because it's not when Chef was talking about how like, we used to say like like the the for shizzle, but then you took you took that from us. And now we gotta say flippity floppity floop. <laughs> I forgot about that. Real classic South Park, man. The only reason why I didn't show it on stream is I wasn't sure if I was gonna have like a fucking giant dick or something. But I kind of showed the clip. Gotta get back to our flippity floppity flip. <laughs> uh, let's try this and just see what the fuck happens. Gotta get back to our flippity flippity loo. That's all I'm thinking about now. <laughs> um, I don't think so now. Mario World's horizontal, and I don't, I, it doesn't have an oval hole like that. Memorial World 1 is, uh, this guy. It's similar in idea. But it's not, uh, the same. It's, like, more square. Memorial World 1's, like, more oval. But the Yo Yoshi's Island is, like, closer to it. With the two. It's kind of like a fusion of both Yoshi's Island and Mario World's key. It's weird. Yeah, kind of. Like, I think Crazy Castle was like, that's what this was the game 
Crazy Castle was, uh... Like, you know what I mean? Stealing from. I had to train a 58-year-old uh, black man at work, and we were talking about race and stuff. Like, seven hours over two days, and I referenced that skit with him. I saw that one with the movie with the... Oh, my God! Ha! <laughs> what about the Emancipation Proclamation? Sorry, I don't listen to hip-hop. <laughs> It's like the, the most, it's like the subtlest joke in the movie, but it's so, actually so fucking funny. It's so bad. That joke always makes me laugh. The, and then in the new season, I know they revealed that his name wasn't actually Token, you know, for the, for the black kid. His name was actually like Tokeen, like J.R.R. Tolkien. Like what, have you guys been calling him Token? Okay, we don't have to start from here. Oh, I don't have it on the right stage design. I forgot. Yeah, you can swim up the water, though. You gotta be a Giga Chad. Or you can do it. No! <laughs> I also liked when the, it turned out the shitty walk racist guy was actually the guy who just had like a psychotic nervous breakdown with the multiple personalities. That might actually be one of their best plot twists. Cause like that was like a, they, they took years for that. This could actually be a pretty cool level. The Chung. Ba -ba 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 -da 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 -da. But a big chung, yes, chung, yes. Oh, so you want the Asian guy to build the shitty wall? But, uh, but yeah, you can make it a ladder as well. But the ladder's boring. This is too easy. I want there to be pain. Oh! Yo, Mario landed like a G. Did you see that? Biggest douche. Biggest douche in the universe. No, no, you see, I'm not actually communicating with the dead. I I'm just vaguely asking anyone in the audience. If, you know, like, the, the someone's name start with the letter, like, P, 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 oh, Patricia! No, no, don't you see? I'm just, I'm showing you how it's all a bunch of bullshit. Oh my god! Stop breaking down my shitty wall. Yeah, yeah, so this game has Mario 2 mechanics. So, yeah, you can pick up enemies, you can pick up most items. Uh, there's time switches and springs and platforms. Uh, so if you want something, like, as you've been seeing, like, the ladder thing is timed. I'm gonna get rid of the ladder. We don't want this one. But, uh... Now let's... Now that we have this level, let's clean this up. Ch ch chungus 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 Chungus, Chungus. Chungus, Chungus. He's a big Chungus. Even bigger. Chungus. Oh, he's a big Chungus. Ooh, you taught you saying don't to watch yourself. Well, you better believe that's a chungus. Oh, chungus, coming from your backyard, coming for your Capcom. Gonna go stay wrong, big chungus all night long. Welcome to Big Chungus Radio, KBBL Chungus. That'd be too easy. 
No, nah, I don't want to make it easy. The idea is that you think you can go this way, but you can't. You have to actually go up and over. Like the, the, uh, the, the way I'm picturing this. I don't know why that became like a, like a Shaft song. The Tourette Syndrome episode. Yeah, that, that, and it's funny because uh, they thought they would get in trouble for that episode. But uh, the, the the association of like Tourette's, or I don't know the official term. Like actually like was like, wow, thank you for like showing like an actual like, like real like Tourette Syndrome shit. Like you didn't like, like even though they had Carbon faking it, like they had the people with the actual things. They're like, yeah, she did like a legit like, a legit uh like representation. Chungus. Fall guys is so fun. Yo, I, I noticed uh, streamers are picking it up again. I just want to see whatever you face. If you want to help design a level, let me know your ideas. We'll try and get them in. Piss coming from my ass. Uh, the, the, an episode that people don't talk about often is the one when the water park becomes pee. That one, I, I don't know why. I guess I go to water parks and amusement parks and stuff a lot. So that one always makes me laugh. Now, don't you see the concentration? There's too much pee. Well, yeah, doesn't, doesn't everybody pee in the pool? Uh oh! <laughs> Well, I think that's what, like, that's why the show, like, gets away with it, so to speak, with so much of what it does. It's, like, trying to show it, like, for legit what it is. Sometimes they'll over-exaggerate for effect or for humor. But it'll still be, like, the core issue of what that side is talking about. And they'll do both sides. Like, they typically will, like, they won't just be, like, this is the good side or whatever. Which is why, like, and they typically will show up both sides are assholes. Which is true for a lot of things, like... You know, the giant douche turd sandwich kind of shit. I think that's why, like, it's like, it's not just being, like, mean spirited. It's like, they're, like, being mean because they're being like, you fucking dicks, what are you doing? It's not the pee pee. Oh, wait, give me this banana. He starts peeing on him, right? Oh, no, it's, it's making him so angry. I think this level's done. I'm not even fronting. I right, should just try this. Some will be easier than others, you know what I mean? And again, like I said, I'm not worrying about making them like pretty just yet. But it's a Game Boy game, so we can kind of get away with it not being like, you know, the prettiest game ever made. Yo, it actually looks kind of like a rabbit. This is cool. Should I, I guess I should add an enemy. So it's not like totally. Uh... And you don't have to do the waterfall. You can do the jump. Oh! Can you? I guess the strat would be to uh... do that. This is the, the button masher stage. Do it! Do it! No! <laughs> Randy's the goat. When he looks at the computer, or like when he's the last computer in the world or whatever, the last internet connection, and he's just fucking destroyed. That scene I can't show on Twitch. <laughs> I, I like this is like a little puzzle. This is actually a really cool puzzle level. You know what I mean? Like this is like, I didn't intend this, but it, I mean, the whole game's a puzzle game. We'll give them more time though. I might, also, I wanted to try and add an enemy. I don't want to make it like crazy. Wait, what's this, what does this skull do? <laughs> Actually, one idea I have, actually. Wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. We have, like, these things. What if we tried one of these? Let's see what that is. 
Like I said, you don't want to overcomplicate it. Especially not, like, so early. We can have levels later that are, like, insane. You know what I mean? I don't want people to, like, start the hack and be like, Well, fuck this game. Brazilian fart porn. Brazilian fart porn. I hope uh, Eberk joined just in time for that. Okay, so that thing will fuck your day. That's what I was saying. It's like part of the like puzzle. If you try to swim it like directly, it won't work. And yeah, that thing will fuck your day up. Jeez. That's I, that's like the puzzle. Is figuring out like you can't just directly mash up the waterfall. You have to uh, utilize the platform. I'm trying to. See, I was trying to see mashing speeds. If you're wondering. Also, I, this is my favorite pause screen in any video game. He's just like, hey, motherfucker. You gonna play the fucking game? You little bitch. I don't know if I should get rid of the enemy or not. This is hard though. For sure. God damn. I'm trying to see if there is like an easy strat or not. If the enemy might be too much. At least like this kind of enemy. I a later version of this level. You know how usually like you have a level and they kind of make a harder variation later. I can see us doing that with this level. I have like the super chungus later or something. Uh, where was that guy I used earlier? Okay. I want to see what he can do. I don't know if he can go through one tile gaps or not. Oh, he's he's moving. Where'd he go? He must go now. His planet needs him. Oh, he's out there. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather just do like no enemy or whatever. The challenge being like this. The only thing I wanted to try was for shits and giggles. Uh, where is it? There it is. Just move it up a little bit. See if that helps. Do, 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 do. Whoa. I hit the wrong button. It looks like visually better. Are we like taking the Chungus's heart? Might be too hard. No, it's not too bad. He's got to mash like a champ. Not like too fast, but yeah, yeah, this is good. This is good. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> exactly what I wanted.
Oh god. Mario's so proud. Okay, the last part might be too hard. In the sense of I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Um, I thought you could do something like that, but no, nah, it doesn't look like you can. Unless I move his eyes out a bit. Something like that. Three-dimensional Chungus. This is cool. I like how we already have like different styles of gameplay. Well, like I said, things might be subject to change. Who knows? We might find we might move levels around. If we find something's too uh too hard where it is. I'm also playing this with a keyboard. And I usually play stuff with a controller. I do that sometimes just to see, like, it's like play worse, right? So it's like it's like playing at a lower skill level almost. Like, is there enough reaction time? I don't always do that. Just just for some. Today I'm doing it. Next time I'll probably have my controller ready. I mean, I can just connect. It takes two seconds, but. He's crying. Yeah, I know. But I was like, it makes more sense if the water's coming from his, like, eyes, right? Like, he's like, oh, like. And also, it might help with the last part. I want to see if this, like, makes it easier. Or if it's going to make it harder. It's definitely going to make the beginning easier. But I can move that arm over. That's not a big deal. Like, I can move... I can... Otherwise, you can just do this, right? You can just... Do that. I mean, it's in the end of the world.
I love the visual of the crying Chungus, though. That looks awesome. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of cool. Yeah, 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 I like this. I like this. Okay, okay, let's move the hand over. I'm just making sure. I'm just checking everything. Goo 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 goo. Trying to give it like a chungus tail. <laughs> Good chunk is color. Prodigy. Chad is helping make a ROM hack. We are the second stage in. We already have a Chungus. I don't know whether to be proud or ashamed. Alright, color palette side. I mean, the first stage I did myself. You know, we got we got a quality stage, all right. We got some quality coming in at the beginning. First thing they see, bam, Chungus. Bam. Where is that fucking? You ever wonder what the bottom of an avatar shoe looks like? Well, bam! There it is. <laughs> you ever wonder what a big chungus looks like? Well, bam! You ever wonder what the bottom of an avatar shoe looks like? Well, bam! There it is. You hit him with the platforming, then chungus out of left field. Well, luckily, Prodigy, I can reorganize levels. So I can always put this level later, but it might be funny just to have the Chungus. Alright, let's check this out. Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> that was fine.
Yeah, Prodigy, if you want to help make a level, you have an idea, if there's a gimmick or a thing you want to see, let me know. We got Sad Chungus. An Easter egg. <laughs> I don't know why the enemy spawn though. That's one thing I don't... I need to like look up why that happens. If it's maybe it's just like a thing that happens in the game. Like in later levels. I don't know. I also like how we have this water gimmick for this stage. Oh well, look, see the Chungus is sad. It's a sad Chungus. No! Mario! <laughs> it has vertical scrolling. Yeah. Not too much, but we can do like two screens worth. You want to contra waterfall? Oh, you're just saying if it has it. Classic vertical waterfall level a la contra. Aight, aight, aight. I got you. We can try and do that. There it is. Woo. Yo, did we just clip? Yo, was that the- That's actually amazing. You can actually zip in the fucking Chungus level. Goomba would be so proud. How did I get that? That was so sick. What does this just reminds you of Tobu Tobu Girl? So I guess these earlier levels... I can't put this level early then. This level would have to go later then. Because we I, the first four levels... You have to... I guess it has to use the... Uh, DK ladder thing. Because it's like trying to be the original game. Right? And then after that I can probably do whatever the fuck. It doesn't matter. But I can just replace this level with like level... Like the next regular level. So like this one. So let's, let's test this out. Let's see if it works. Uh, 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 Chungus. That's so easy. That was easy. So yeah, if you want to make your own level and send it to me, stupid easy to import. Uh, I have a save. Where is it? Here. <laughs> DK! Running all over my chungus! Oh, because I didn't switch his spawn. Whoops. I guess you still have to change Mario's... Uh... Huh. I guess it's something to do with where Mario is positioned. Like in regards to the door at the start of the level? Huh. This is the stuff we gotta learn about with the game. Like the limitations. I don't think I've ever played Tobu Tobu. What, like, what is it? Yeah, it's weird how we spawn on the outside. I could do something fun, actually. Uh, we have dissolvable ground. I 
I'm not, I have no idea. It's like a Kirby uh, Game Boy game, uh, back to Kickstarter for the Lux one. Oh, no way, it's like the, like a new Game Boy game, like one of those. Cool. We're gonna see about 20 minutes ago because I was tired and I just woke up from a dream about fake Mega Rob. No way. You're dreaming about the legend himself. But uh but Adam. That's like, that's very Dark Souls. They were in chat earlier. They're the one who suggested uh, the Big Chungus level. You were, I think you were here when he literally suggested. That's funny though. I've had those kind of dreams before. Like chat dreams. Yo! Lax Sliver! What's good? Welcome in, everyone! Secret of Mana? If I were to guess? Weekly Seed? We are making... Good luck! Yo, it's got a Solar Cell! Oh, shit! Yo, the absolute... Ma mana and Evermore Weeklies. Let's go, let's go. We are making a Donkey Kong 94 ROM hack. And you get the help. If you have level ideas, if you want a gimmick, if you want a big chungus, we are doing it. We are doing it. Let me do one thing to make this level not so cheap. I wanted to add this. Yeah, if you have an idea. <coughs> let me know. Be like, yo, I love, I would love a level where you do X, Y, Z. Do it. Remember now I thought that was a runner for a sec? I mean, he is a runner. What's going on, everyone? I'm fake cousin. I almost called myself fake Mega Rob Dad. That, that is not the stream. I am Cousin Catnip. I am. Oh, you drew it from memory? Let's go. Oops. Uh, we are doing the summer of DK and Banjo. Where we're playing over 40 different DK, Banjo, whatever games. Here, I'll get, here take, a, take a peek at what we're doing. Here, take, take a gander. Not 69? Level 69's already been decided. Yeah, it's the summer of DK and Banjo this year. It's gotta be bigger. Better. Me. But I've already used some of my best groups, some of my best. Hey, hello. Some of the best of the best. Hey, hello. Is anybody playing the oh. game? Oh. Yes, this year we got Conquer. Oh, yeah. Lab Reloaded Pocket Tales. What have we got? Y'all wanted it. We got Crash Bandicoot. We got a bid war between one, two, and three. Right now, one for the Switch is in the lead. Two for the PS1 is in the lead. And three has not been voted on yet. Oi. And all my pirate friends. Oh, yeah. I've been trying to find a way to introduce this. Get this going. You know it from the oi in chat. But now you'll learn the lore. And for my retro fans, you know that game. You know it's sick. 
but the summer of DK and Banjo, featuring Crash, Conker, and LeChuck. Oh, shit. I just gotta update my Diddy Kong Racing cart is on the way. Fuck yeah. But what do we got going down? We have over 40 plus games. We've already done Donkey Kong 64, 420, 69 randomizer. And the Banjo Kazooie Gwintilda's Mask Banjo Majora Mask combo. Look at all these incentives. You know, go on a room tour, go to the zoo. Play games with bongos. Tropical freeze hard mode. Fucking get that G fuel. Watch the DKC cartoon show. Bullshit. And of course, we are creating a Donkey Kong 94 ROM hack on stream with your ideas. It's beautiful. It's amazing. The summer is here. The summer is here, chat. Now I see here, chat. I need some good levels, I right? I see. If we're trying to trying to make the best of the best, we I gotta see the best of the best. It ain't that right? It ain't that right, chat. You see, we we don't know. We don't know if. <laughs> you don't know, see. Level reveal in three, two, one. For only four ninety nine, you can get yourself a very own banjo grill. Does your steak have hops like this? I don't think so. I don't think so. So spend your money today. Come. Come and go. Stay more yo, 100%, right? But chat, you have entered the scary zone. You don't know what's going to happen next. Anything could happen. Your worst nightmares. Your worst desires. Things you couldn't even fathom. And yet, here you are. Still pondering, wondering, hoping. I see my voice on TV. That may or may not have been the first thing I did when I tried this. That may or may... Wait, if it's that version? Wait, wait, wait. If we're doing that version, it's got to be this. There we go. This is my voice on TV. <laughs> Obviously, pray for Chungus. Pray for Chungus one time. Pray for Chungus. Okay. This song's too much of a banger to turn it up. All right, anyways, ADHD intro over. We are making levels, kicking ass, taking names. You want to help contribute? Let me know. Throw your suggestions down. I'm, I have this little, little notepad here. What are we, two levels in? Yo, fake mega rob dad. Kuja had a dream about you. Uh, let's try this out. He even wanted to share the story. He was waiting for you to, to be, like, be here. Wow. Out. Wait, did I not save the level? There we go. There we go. Yeah, cool. I want to make sure you you can't die, but also that you can't cheese it. But also give people that help if they want. Like maybe it's a red herring. I could also just make the entire bottom water. 
That might make this way too hard. Here you go. So you and Fake Mega Rob were on a bus in real life, going home because you're at Walmart or something. Very specific. You guys are like homies. Why? I don't know why the enemy spawn. That I still need to figure out. I wonder if it's just like a code we can turn off. With my more skilled coding friends. Yeah, the jump's pretty easy. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, up there. Hey, fuck yeah, Walmart! Oh! We got a Walmart, we had to go to Walmart or something, so we bought a new Mega Man ROM hack at the store. And we were the first two people in the world. Yo, let's go! And then Kumba was also on the bus, but he was asleep and missed coming in the store to buy the ROM. Why didn't you guys wake him up? Y'all are a bunch of douchebags! Kumba what's right? That, that's both very accurate and actually hilarious. The fact that you guys are like, should we wake up Kumba? No. Let him sleep. <laughs> True friends, right? <laughs> but we can play it first, then. I'm so unsure if this last part's too hard. Just leave them. Rom hackless. Maidenless. No maiden. I listen to the song all fucking day if I could. Yeah! Slept, slept through his own marathon. Ugh. Can you believe it? Yeah, this last part is. But look, then it started to be down here the second time. Oh, maybe it was just because of the way I had the level loaded. Uh, okay, I think I know what happened. Okay, okay, okay. I could still keep the entrance, I guess, but I'm gonna check something. Or is it the first time it loads, it's gonna do it like that, I wonder? He slept at GDQ. Wait, like, was he one of the people who fell asleep like on the couch or something? Bruh. He's more Mega Man than human at this point. We call him. God damn it. Straight on the chair. That's pretty, that's pretty epic, though. At least he wasn't smoking weed in the bathroom like Clint Stevens. <laughs> Alright. I'm checking the level before to see how the... Why we almost died. I want to see how it loads from, like, back here. Cause maybe it already loaded the level or something. No, so he like runs in after DK. But he's on the same place. Okay, so you have to do that. It's so weird. Maybe because it's the first level of the stage or whatever. Okay, I'm, I'm learning too, chat. 
We're learning together. I wanted to see this for like fun. Let's see if this works. A lot of this is, like I said, just me getting used to like how the game operates. So if people ask for stuff, I can be like, yes, no. I think you over practiced it. So you're saying he was a Giga Chad. Chungus is super sad, man. Yeah, the water doesn't do anything. Although it looks like we're like in Chungus's stomach now. Which is kind of cool. Like Chungus is like a it's like a sewer or something. That's kind of cool actually. I like this. X-ray. Yeah, like we're seeing inside his belly or something. I still don't know why the plants spawn. That's something I have to learn. Like, honestly, with, like, any GDQ run, I feel like the pressure, like, is half the thing, right? And then there's the guy who cheated <laughs> and did the spliced spoof fake run, so I don't know. <laughs> like, with that kind of opportunity, you think you'd, like, like, that would, like, be your life. We all played hacks way too much at the moment. I'm sure Rob will wipe us so many of the speedruns. We used to pee each other with the ideas and strats all day. Yeah, I know. I've heard about that. But I mean, also, I know, uh, I know Kumba, like, like specifically, he um, just wanted to, like, move away from ROM hacks, like, in the sense of, like, speedrunning and stuff. I think that was more what it was for him, at least, from what I understand. Because uh, Rob did not slow down. But I mean, that's what you're saying. And then there's still, like, other people. But they're, they're not part of, like, your OG crew, I guess. But I've seen people around. I killed Vidi Man. Yo! Four fifths, asterisk, one tenth, asterisk, five eighths, asterisk, five sixths, care of asterisk, asterisk, seventeen dot four fifths, asterisk, one I don't know the word, man! Five eighths, asterisk, five sixths. Also, what are you putting your bits towards? Asterisk, seventeen dot four fifths. What do you want to do? Asterisk, one tenth, asterisk, five eighths, asterisk, five sixths, care of What do you want your bits going towards? Seventeen dot four fifths, asterisk, one tenth, asterisk, five eighths, asterisk, five sixths, care of asterisk. Yes, that's for the bits. Why are you sorry, coin pusher? Three switch it is. Asterisk 
carat asterisk asterisk 17 dot four fifths asterisk one tenth asterisk five eighths asterisk five sixths. Rocky much later, if that makes sense, Kuba was saying, stop it, that makes sense. Yeah, 100 percent. Asterisk one tenth asterisk. I thought Fake Mega Rob guy's been around like for a long ass time. Yeah. I don't know if he's always been like on Twitch though. Or maybe, no, he has been. No, because he used to stream like uh, Smash Bros stuff and all that. Asterisk one tenth. I remember. Five eight. Talked about that. Five six. Care of asterisk asterisk seventeen dot four fifths. Asterisk one tenth. Asterisk five eight. Asterisk five six. Care of asterisk asterisk seventeen dot four fifths. Asterisk one tenth. Asterisk five eight. Asterisk five six. Care of asterisk asterisk seventeen dot four fifths. Asterisk one tenth. Asterisk five eight. Asterix. Asterix. Any asterix in the chat? Well, I know uh, Rob's been watching and stuff all that for years. For myself, I used to watch a lot of the, the ROM hack stuff that was done at like, you know, GDQ and ESA and all that. Like I watched Kumba like at those events like years before I ever knew who he was. I just knew him as that silent guy who would never talk during his runs. That's literally all I remembered him as. I was like, I'm like, who's that silent Mega Man guy who literally never talks? He's been at like all these random marathons and he never talks. That's why I actually checked out his stream. I'm like, why does he never talk? 5SS Asteroid. Asteroids? Your ex wouldn't like ever watch Twitch or socialize. Just watch World Records when they happened from like 2014 to 17. Damn. Yeah, I've dated a girl before who was like not into like my hobbies and she'd always make me feel like shit for my hobbies and it's like But you're you decided to date me <laughs> like What now that I'm older, right when I'm younger, you're like, oh my god when you're older, you're like Then why did you date me? And I wasn't even one of those people who was like, sorry, babe. I gotta play WoW like it was nothing like that It was like I never understood that shit or like they would com consume vapid amounts of like reality TV and all this like boring ass shit. But if you dare to like suggest a video game or something, it's like, oh my god. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not much going on during June, so I did a bunch of runs. I'm guessing Burst Chaser is going to take most of July. Yeah, I watched uh, most of the, the depth run. Death, Deft. That game's still pretty solid. I still think it's a pretty good hack. Even if I guess most of it's stolen, right? Um, I think we're done for now at this stage. Let's get rid of this version. So this level has to end with a ladder and DK. Let's try and get uh try and get like one or two more levels done. This is a good warm-up stream though, like getting used to the program, getting used to sort of this workflow, uh, just designing levels and you know, just kind of getting like figuring out the mechanics and like how levels work, like how they start and finish. Uh, but let's see. Also, I, I, anyone have any ideas? We're not at 69 yet. We could do the hammer up the thing yet. I, I kind of want to save the hammer up the ladder one. Just for a little bit later. But the enemy's falling handstand thing we could probably do, actually. I deleted from that one spot. We moved it to level 4. Because uh, it was crashing in level 2. So we exported it to uh, a different level spot. That's why uh, Mario was doing that thing where he was spawning in a different spot. But it turns out it's just the way, uh, like the level, it's like the first four levels has to work like OG Donkey Kong. And then after that, you can use keys. So I had to move it out of the first four level slots into a different level slot. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't do that, Kuja. That'd be a waste. Saying hope until August, not moving almost anywhere apart from the store, except to take care of the lady. Guess what time it is? Hack time. Fuck yeah, Prodigy. Hey, your hack looks like it's gonna be sick. Let's we're gonna do some speedruns. Yes! 
Yeah, your hack. I remember you posted progress about your hack. That's gonna be so sick. All right, what tile set should we use for this? I like the idea of this being the level with the falling enemy shit. Or we have to use our handstand. Let's try, let's try airplane. Why not? Let's change the palette. Sure, let's go blue. I just been hacking in the randomizer tourney. I ended up just signing up too late. I was like, oh, well, the deadline happened. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I mean, the rando's in a good spot right now, too. Like, Mega Man 2 rando is one of the better randos I played. And I played a lot of randos on stream, as you've seen. But like, 2 is pretty solid. I have no issues with it. Like, in the sense that, and I know Charlie Boy is also sort of like the main dude, I guess, but... but I feel like you can step away from it for a while and it's not a big deal. Okay, so how do we even do that with the enemies? I have an idea, I have an idea. So... Do this. I'm getting inspired by, uh, oh yeah, I guess I have your level design you gave me, uh, this, the Contra. Woman from Toronto lost 52 pounds in 28 days using one simple trick. Yo, how to lose 45, 40.5 pounds in a month. Drink this once every day. These two vegetables will kill your belly and arm fat overnight. So that's how you linked from. Make me laugh. I just want to try a bunch of shit and see what works. Uh, I wish MMLB would accept after tournament already. Oh yeah, the, I have to submit my trilogy run still. Forgot to do that. Yeah, you, you fucking beat the task and no one's approving the run. I just started running hacks that are already on the leaderboard. That makes sense. Size so uh, the Amy Rose task. I'm still waiting for the AV speed run. Ice cold in the nuts. It's too powerful. Okay.
I might have to watch it first. I think I approve one of your runs. You haven't watched anything else yet? DK killed me so fast, I couldn't even see. Song is so happy. How do you approve the run? Robin's had to approve. Oh no! Oh, because it's like not. There's no like tab for it yet. You can kind of see the idea I'm trying here. Time for our daily dose of aquatic ambience chat. By law, every DK stream has to play Aquatic Ambience at least once. By law. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. This was David Wise coming back. Being like, what's up, bitches? Eat bananas every day, eat bananas every day, eat bananas every day. Except on Fridays. Oh yeah. Bananas. Bananas every day now. Banana. Banana. So Mario doesn't soft lock. Soft lock, soft lock. Soft lock, soft lock. Oh, you can make... That's cool. Yo, Proj, you gotta do that. Halfway and recreating the steps, he did in the cork. Yo, let's go, coin pusher. That's weird. I didn't show your sub thing until just a second ago. That's weird. Just uh, having fun, pad in the beat. Don't need to slowly rise in pitch. Well, that's kind of cool. He like 
His barrels wrap around on the other side. Bup, 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 bup. Yeah, he uses like so little percussive stuff, but it does a lot. It's a little cheap how DK can just like one shot you. This music's so epic right now. Go, Mario! No! I like how DK holds up his middle finger. What a douche. heard this song this long before. Yeah, David Wise, man. Tropical Freeze. Still got it. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. Oh, here's that. Like I said, I feel like with Grant Kirkhope, the limitations really made him better. Then with David Wise, without limitations, he he got he got like unleashed. And I love how we just didn't do the same songs. Like even this Aquatic Ambience right now isn't really Aquatic Ambience. You know what I mean? I forgot to make the thing. Whoops. Like, whoo! Whoo! It's even a remix of the main theme, the. Ba -da -na 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 -na. Yeah, that. Ch -ch -ch -ch. He's got the like, the like. He's got the like the boom boom, which is like like as we learned was like different instruments. It's like string drum, guitar, like one after each other, like hit boom ba ba, which is a really clever thing I want to use. <laughs> but the idea is really smart. Ow. The stuff wouldn't turn exactly like what I wanted it to be. But I think there's potential here. Like, I don't think it's totally the like falling from above level that we wanted it to be. Could try this though. sense. Woo. Woo. He plays like every instrument. That's the thing, it's not like Grant Kirkhope got worse or anything. I just feel like the, the variations you have with something like uh, the N64 sound font we sort of forced to using more uh a, like more like like less realistic sounds well david wise 
can do no wrong. It seems like. Now this part's too easy. Hmm. It's been a chill stream, though. It's been nice hanging out with y'all. Back to work with struggle standing. Exactly, right? Like, there's no depth to it. And it bugs me. Because there used to be so much depth. Like, the melodies get lost, and it's like an earthy openness. Did the whole music school playing trombones and whatnot. David Wise never needed music stuff till way later in life. Same thing with Nubu Yuumetsu. It's like the lack of proper training. Like, made them more experimental. It's like the expectations were different. Who knows, right? Like maybe David Wise pushed him, or who knows? And maybe he felt like he had to do better because of being around the people he was around. Like, well, I really got to step up my game. Which happens, you know, like in companies, right? When you bring in like the person to make everyone else get more motivated. Okay, I don't know if I like the birds. And I'm pretty sure this DK doesn't do anything. Um... Yeah, there's a barrel's left, right. Let's check that out. Da -da 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 -da. both started by coding the music first then yeah exactly right but even when david wise coded music even his like nes stuff was like far above beyond anyone else's stuff is this not him or am i wrong Damn it, tell me the- Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, 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 Okay, okay. I thought so. But it's like... 
It's kind of like people feel like they have to move to the new styles because they have to. But if you're really good at a thing, I feel like evolving within the thing you're good at is also important. Or like, you shouldn't just throw away your roots. Like, I feel like if Grant Kirkpo Kirk Kirkhope, Kirkhope actually like did N64 style music again, it would sound fucking amazing. Like, uh... Fucking, uh... Where is he? It was hard to find his albums. But, uh... There, as I say, some other composers have, like, continued doing chip tune or, like, their style. And it still works. Not that you should just do the same thing forever and ever either, right? But... Yeah, exactly, though. It's like, if you're good at... Like, that, that's why I still use FL Studio. Because for me, it's like what I learned. And like, I know all these like little tricks and all these things now, right? So it's like... By the way, here's a little snippet of... Chico song not released yet. That's seven, eight time signature. Three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just trying to get like the basics of it down. So I've never really worked with like unorthodox time signatures. But yeah, you can do some powerful shit. But that's the thing though, general MIDI is so different from tracker stuff, right? It's like tracker stuff, I'm still like total basic bitch on. Like most of this stuff I can't, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Now, I mean, I know what I'm doing a little bit. This tracker I don't know how to use though. But, uh... Like, it really just comes down to, uh... Just your note, right? You put the note, you put what sample it's playing. Then you put, like, any kind of effect it's doing. So if it's doing kind of any kind of, like, you know, vibrato or whatever on the last thing. But I have no samples, right? But I have to put a sample in. Let's see, like, it's starting to make more sense. But yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, uh, Jay Kaufman. But that was also because of the, like, challenge of trying to make it like, uh, like the NES, right? This kind of looks cool, actually, this half-completed thing here. It looks like we're, like, in a cityscape. That's cool. And also people need to remember, some people are just fucking talented, right? Are you so, like, uh... They still have these amazing abilities. And also the, the thing too I notice sometimes when people get popular, is people stop telling them they're wrong, or that there's like an issue. Or anything like that. So it ends up becoming this, like, no one's telling them that, you know, maybe you should do a second pass or try it again. Like that one Yoko Shimamura song we heard that uh, Will showed me. Where she, like, remade one of her songs and it sounded like shit. It sounded like some, no one told her, like, hey, that sounds like shit. Yeah, Jay Kaufman's a fucking legend, though, dude. He, he has such a good understanding. Yeah, uh, the Bloodstain OST is fucking god tier, dude. Let's see if we did it. I'm curious. Actually, it's Ritual. Whoops. That game's also so good. I don't know why people shout out Ritual. So it's like it perfectly understands 
like everything about Chip Tian. You know what I mean? I don't even want to change it. It's so good. For me personally, it's Matt Furness for the Genesis. Guy knows like funk like no other. Is he the Toe Jam and Earl guy? Yo, Toe Jam and Earl is fucking crazy. The song I was playing was Bloodstain. But if you want to talk about my, my personal favorite like retro artist guy, fucking T Lops, bro. T Loops, T Lops. My man understands everything about retro music. This guy's so good. There's lyrics on that one. Some of those, they even got fucking Wu Tang for the final song. It was so good. And the streets of Rage 4 OST. I don't know if Jake Coffin did Bloodstain Curse of the Moon or not. Where is my song? Yo, Yuzo Kashiro is an old school legend. He did, he did Streets of Rage. He came back for Streets of Rage 4. He still got it. I follow him on uh, Twitter. I never played. Yo, what's the deal with sports games in the 90s having the best fucking soundtrack ever? I spelled Blood Rain wrong. Yo, I, I thought it was this game you're talking about. as fuck. It sounds very Jake Kaufman, which I assume is why he chose this. I didn't know they made a new Blood Rain. What is it? Funkatron or whatever?
Another funky OST. We want to talk another funky OST. I like the SNES version better. Before the sexual harassment, there was Lost Vikings. Just for the music. That's like half of what we're about. This song is, why is it such a banger? We're not even halfway done. Right, are you ready for this breakdown? Unnecessarily hype. Point of Genesis can't do rock. Come on. You know I'm gonna say this. You know this is amazing. Like this music box. Like this is the music that plays when you're playing fucking Bone Storm. All I've done is put in my name! All I've done is put in my name! I know, it's, it's trying so hard. That's what, there's always that funky song. Every Genesis game has to have one stage with like a bizarrely hip hoppy funky like laid back like boom boom hey uh. it's a requirement every genesis game i need the song where is it yo Lorenz paint so good you're the first person I know who actually knows that game. Oh, here it is! Mm. Yeah, it's very Doom. Now, there's like one song that's amazing. Where is it? I mean, they're all pretty good. Not that one. This OST is actually a banger. Like, every song is like, oh shit. Where, now I want to hear that song. Maybe it was in three. There it is! This is my favorite one. This is the best song. Easily the best song.
Yeah, Thunder Thunder Force does a great job of syncing the action with the music. Like the set pieces will like go in time with the music. It's so sick. Honestly, the best song of Lorange Point, Lorange Point, however the fuck you say this, the intro song. It's so good. Doesn't even sound like NES. It sounds like Genesis. Literally sounds like Genesis. It's the waveforms they used, right? Yeah, like... And it's ironic, it's like a space futuristic game, right? Yeah, it had the extra uh, sound chips. What about an FM sound chip? That makes sense, then. Because the FM synth is how the Genesis works, right? But yeah, no, it, it's so good. What'd you post, Prodigy? I know we've, it's an official media share right now. I don't mind either. Ha! You already knew... That's funny, even when I was looking for it, you knew the exact song. That's so funny. I think Overflow. This is my favorite Streets of Rage 4 song. This song is a banger. Yeah. And the NES doesn't have that ability, right? You have to, like, solder the slots in or whatever. Wait for it. girl uh, Yoko Shimamura in here. She only knows how to make Street Fighter music, apparently. Or Chain of Hearts music. Tell me... Tell me the composer without telling me the composer. It's like uh, the Toby Fox Pokemon song. Tell me Toby Fox composed this without telling me Toby Fox composed this. Do, I do, do the Undertale thing. Do, do that Undertale thing. You got this. Do, do that Undertale thing. Best actual retro OST, though. I have to give it up to my homie. Y'all should know what this is, or I'm gonna be upset. Hero. You ready for this drop? I don't think you're ready for this. This soundtrack was ahead of its fucking time. 1998. But the whole OST's bangers. The best song though?
Where's Malky? I, when people are like, people get uh, like, oh man, I want new Bomberman. I want new Bomberman like, like, like N64, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, GameCube, era Bomberman. You know when it wasn't just the stupid fucking top-down bullshit that's terrible? It's fun for multiplayer, but like... Remember when they actually made these Bomberman games with like, really cool, unique gameplay? That were sort of like, these like 3D platformers and stuff? And then they like, like literally never did it again? Why, why not? There's Bomberman Jetters with that Seinfeld song. Y'all ever heard this one? Where is it? Open oh, World Bomberman could work so well with like the hero style gameplay. And it was already kind of like an opening puzzle solvey game. And you could fly around in your like little ship thing. You could have the Joeys or whatever the fuck they're called. There's all the way a Japanese guy, Xero Majora, never heard of the Seinfeld track and just made it one day. It's too close to be coincidental. It's too close. Kenji Yamato got busted for plagiarism. But here's Murayama standing the test of time. Oh yes, ooh, both both OSTs are really good. Did you ever play the super rare Bomberman 64, the second attack? This is one of the rarest N64 games. I, I played this game as a kid. This game, you wanna know how much this game goes for? Yo, anyone who's got a box copy of this game, easy $500. Bro, la last year, we pretty much played through like every Hudson game ever. I I've tried to show chat how Hudson's like, Hudson Soft was like one of the best companies ever. Like, Hudson Soft, Capcom, like back in the day, and uh, there's another one I'm missing. Like Quintet, I guess. There's like a few of them that were like so unbelievably god tier. I mean, Capcom's still around, but you know what I mean. Hudson Soft, every single game they made was fucking god tier, pretty much. Uh, like, from Super Adventure Island 2 into Mario Party. And the Bomberman Hero N64, like, they, they, there's this run they have that's just, like, some of my favorite games, like, actually. Speaking of Super Adventure Island 2. Banger OST. Still the best Zelda 2. I'm gonna tell my kids Super Adventure Island 2 was Zelda 2. The music should not be this good in this game. Because I was pretty much out of business because uh, top guys made investments in the golf course in Palm Springs. They had to fire the employees. No way.
I mean, if we're saying some soft. give you a random 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 fucking song random song best song ever made though random fucking video game you probably not you probably maybe heard of dust force this guy went on to do the tunic ost yeah i'm not a fan of blaster master but the ost is insanely good and all the Batman games have good at soundtracks. Also, if you ever saw the Double Fine Adventure, he also does the music for this. <laughs> it's like all the same songs. By the way, this documentary is the best thing ever. If you ever want to get into game design stuff, insanely good documentary. Got to your use of samples of slap bass became known as the iconic sense off bass a bass. Yeah, that's true. They definitely have their sound. Konami had their sound as well. Yeah, I like the dun 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 that was good. Oh, DK! Did you see that? Ha! TK's like, I must go now. Oh god, it's glitching out. It's glitching out hard. Oh, this song's so good. I wish I could make tracker music this good, you know what I mean? I know this song from uh, Grand Poo World 2. So why is everything fucked up now? Is it because I got rid of Pauline? Ah! Interesting. I guess you need Pauline there. 
Euphoria was sick. I want to hear this other one. Oh, it's Euphoria. Uh, hold up. Um, uh, Sunsoft. Uh, Sunsoft, do we want to have a conversation here? Uh, Sunsoft? Um... You wanna, you wanna, you wanna explain this, Sunsoft? You wanna, you wanna explain that? They're like, no, no, no. You see, ours goes da 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 da. Theirs goes da 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 da. Because Ice is so pissed off right now. Blast the master. Pass the beat. This intro song is so good for Blast the Master. It was like for a different game. It does not feel like it was for Blast the Master. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, it's like Blaster Master fucking, uh, Zelda dungeon right now. Oh, they have in my areas. I don't remember which one's which. This is like the song, right? Everyone knows this one. It's like anytime the nerd would do something. Anytime the nerd wanted to, the angry video game nerd. Anytime they wanted to like do something, right? They'd like put on their power glove or whatever. That's how I always remember this song. I wish Blaster Master was just the tank parts. That's like, that's my hot take. friends are fucking dead. Everyone you know is dead. <laughs> What's this one? Oh, you can hear that sun soft. Mario looks so pissed off at me. I'm sorry, man. I'm clearly distracted. But we got a few levels done today. I feel like we're obviously at a stopping point with how distracted I'm getting. And you realize that this song that we're listening to is just this song sped up, right? It won't let me change the speed. Oh no, well. <laughs> they actually are kind of close. <laughs> Wait, what happened if we did this then? Like this sounds like the speed it's supposed to be.
Now, now this is when Big John's playing it. And he's doing 200%. <laughs> If we're talking about best NES soundtracks. This game's literally a Super Nintendo game. This is like my favorite song. And obviously I have to give love to my favorite series ever, right? Yo, one of the best dungeon music ever. It will blow out your speakers. It's so good. If yeah, turn your bass all the way up. The drum though. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. And now for the worst song. Hey, uh, hey, uh, Tanaka, I can't remember his name. How, how's the soundtrack coming? Yo, I got this one second loop for, uh, for the alien thing that you're gonna do for, like, half an hour. Okay, should we make it longer than a second? Oh, don't worry, Bill. I, I raised the pitch a little bit. They'll love it. Soundtrack's amazing. You know these songs. Yeah, we gotta do Natsumi. Might surpass paper. Oh god, no. Mother one's either like, oh man, this is a banger, or it's like, ah! <laughs> By the way, you want to hear the Pokemon uh, League song? For those that didn't know, uh, people who made Earthbound also made Pokemon. Hope we got. Chat, do we have all the badges? Are we ready? I don't know if I'm, I don't, I think I'm under leveled. We might not make it to Gary. I don't know. Best song though. This one's so good. You made that baseline? Yo, that's sick. I love the drum in this. It sounds so clean. And you might know this from Earthbound. This is like the Name Your Character song. Or I think it's Name Your Character. A lot of songs from Earthbound are from here.
Like the only OST I can think of. <laughs> here's, here's a random one that I learned from Big John. Side fucking pocket. Side pocket. Banger OST. Yeah, Server Server is uh, amazing. That's by Tim Foley. Mm. Mm. This one's so good. Yeah, they're all they're all like chill, chill vibes. But it might be songs you've never heard of before, so I'll throw it in. So how did the ROM hacking go today? We listened to a lot of music. We were productive. Very productive. <laughs> Speaking of soundtracks, I got butchered. BKC3. All right. Uh, I think I'm done. It's been like four hours. Let's check out our levels real quick. Everything's sped up still. But yeah, we got a few levels down. We got, I had an ADD moment with the music. But I feel like we got a solid base. Like, we have a good understanding of what we're doing. For those that didn't know, when DKC3 got ported to the Game Boy Advance, they had a brand new soundtrack for it. This is one of those songs. Yeah, exactly, right? Well, it's like a creative process. I, just, I know you know. And obviously doing it on stream is so different. It's like off stream, like, you know what I mean? It's like, no, I'm not distracted. But I get distracted. I'm not, as if I don't get distracted off stream, like you're saying. It's fun to do it like while watching streams and stuff. Because you can like, you know, you kind of go between projects and things. Suddenly you have a bunch of things done. Oh, Lucas sleeping on my mouse. If my stream ran on the ends. Oh! But when is it done? Uh, I'm not. I don't remember it taking too long. Maybe let's try reopening the ROM. It has to be the version 1.0. It can't be revision A. It has to be like the 1.0, like the USA Japan ROM. I noticed it was having issues with the world ROM or like the revision A ROM. Yeah, I noticed it wasn't opening when I, cause I tried that earlier. I was checking that. Yeah, that's Pauline. If she's not there, the game breaks, but I wanted to test if we can, uh, Test, uh, if it's gonna glitch out again. Fuck, this is so hard. I should put a hammer. That would probably make sense. I still wanna try doing the handstand level proper. Jesus. Look, wait. Look. Okay, let's do this. My cat always comes over. She's like, you're done for today. She'll come up and like put her paw in like my hand.
Weird how it's glitched out sometimes. I wonder if it's because I'm loading it from a uh, save state. Weird. Wow, hammer did nothing. It's weird how it's glitched out sometimes. Might be the palette I chose or something. Oh no, I think I have too many sprites. I see the issue. I think I overloaded the sprites. So it's like pulling up like error data. Wow. Get up! Wow. Yeah, this level as it is is way too hard for the second level. <laughs> but I can always put it later. This is the mill song, by the way. He like squeaks on wheels. I feel like this song doesn't fit at all. The Donkey Kong Country 3. It's not a bad song, it's just like... Huh? It does sound very, like, rare, though. Like, sounds like Time Splitters or something. Jesus Christ, this level. <laughs> So notes already, this level needs to be get nerfed. Go! Get up there! Yeah, she's beside it works out. Okay, so I think it's only glitched because of the overload on sprites. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. And then our Chungus stage. One point I work like a charm, let's go. I should make a note about that in the notes. That's gotta be 1.0. Give it a crying Chungus. A hundred levels. That's why I was saying that we have a lot of levels. We have a lot of choice. Yeah, the main campaign is a hundred levels. Whether we do all a hundred or not, we'll see. Depends on what happens, honestly. Yeah, it's it's a very long Game Boy game. Like you get this is one of those Game Boy games you definitely get your money's worth. You know what I mean? Like, you don't feel ripped off. No, there, there's a hundred handcrafted stages. Which is pretty insane. Yeah, this game was insanely good back in the day. It's like that hidden gem not everyone knew about. But those that knew about this game was like, Yo, this game's sick! Yeah, that last part's still hard, too. All right, well, we got some uh, good progress today. I'm feeling good about what we've done. I feel like Chad has gotten a better idea too about everything. You know, just like, you know, like how levels are made, like the limitations we have to keep in mind, how much screen space we have. Cause it looks like we can't use the very, very edge here. Cause it's like here, I think. I think this ladder is like the cutoff. So, uh, yeah. 
I think, uh... I think we have a solid start here. I think we, uh... You know, I mean, we're getting better with... Figuring out what we're doing and... All that good shit. Doesn't even matter, huh? Fuck, I'm, okay, I need to close it. I'll literally tinker for like hours. All right. Close everything. <laughs> this shit's addicting, I swear. You'll be like, it's like the, it's like civilization, like Civ. One more turn. Oh, just like one more turn. Oh, just like one more turn. Oh, just like one more turn. Five hours later. Oh, just like one more turn. But yes, if you want to know, once a week we'll be working on this hack. Different days of the week. You're welcome to make your own levels, send them my way. I'll import them in. Um, if you want to just join me like you've done today, we can just make levels on the fly and shoot ideas. I'm down for that too. Or you can leave ideas in the Discord or on Twitter. I will, uh, I'll take it from anywhere. Or, yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed our, our process today. I feel like we've, you know, we've really, uh, you know, buckled down, really started to learn as we got distracted for two hours, but <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Yeah, th that one didn't count. Oh, that wasn't a real turn. That wasn't a real turn, right? Whoa, what, but I don't even know what, I typed in a channel, and it gave me, like, gambling. Twitch was like, you mean gambling? No! I don't know. Why do you want me to gamble, Twitch? Not like this! But yes! So thank you, everyone, for joining today. Was, uh, like I said, a chill, creative stream. We'll be doing more of these. And, uh, I hope you've enjoyed our stay. Don't forget to buy your banjo grill! Hot and fresh! <laughs> Hot and fresh, but yes, thank you so much for being here, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Next stream is Thursday. Yeah, it was super fun. Are the Chows singing? What the fuck is this song? I've never really played Diddy Kong Racing. I don't know the music. Oh, we're gonna be doing uh, tap dancing on Thursday, and a Donkey Kong racing hack. As well as some music remixing. But a Donkey Kong 64 hack. You do not want to miss it. It's not going to be what you think it is. But if you got cat faces, come on over. Come bring it. Thanks for being here. We still got the bid war going on for Crash. We still got more music making and tap dancing and randos and controls and hacks and playthroughs and Game Boy Advance. Yo, have a great day. Thanks for being here, everyone. Keep it real. Bye.